Hello and welcome. Today I am going to show you how to schedule a meeting in Zoom. When you log on to Zoom, this is the screen you will see. There's two ways you can schedule a meeting. You can click on schedule a meeting here, or you can go down to the personal tab and click on meetings, and then click on schedule a new meeting. Both options will lead you to the same screen, which is this screen. When you do that, you can type in the topic. So in this example, we'll just say you would insert the patient's name. Description is optional because you will at the same time doc be documenting this meeting in Cerner. But if you want, you can just write down what the patient is being seen for. This example will say a cough. Then you'll select the time of the visit and the date. You can select dates further out so that won't be an issue and you can select the time and how long it'll take. If it's a 30 minute visit, you'd select a zero hour duration and the number of minutes for the visit. The next thing you want to make sure of is that the time zone is an Eastern time. After that, the next important part is the meeting ID. You want to always make sure that the generated automatically radio button is selected. This is important as it will ensure that the patient has a different meeting ID and password each time. This makes the application HIPAA compliant and ensures that no other patient can accidentally get into another patient's meeting. You would also want to check off the box of require meeting password. The next option you would want to do is under video, select on for both host and participant. This way, the uh, video feed can be on for both parties and there are no issues. The next option that needs to be selected is audio. That should be selected as both computer and telephone. That way the patient and physician can select which way they would like to speak through their computer audio using a headset or speaking directly into their computer if they are allowed to or through dialing in from a telephone. The next important selections are made under the meeting options. You will want to enable the waiting room. This way, the PSR will be able to join the meeting before the patient. And next, all you have to do is click on Save. Once you select Save, the screen will pop up. You will scroll down to where it says Invite Attendees, and you will copy the invitation. When you, co when you select Copy the Invitation, the screen will pop up with all the meeting invite details. All you will do then is select Copy Meeting Invitation. Then you will proceed to your Outlook calendar and create a new meeting appointment and send out the meeting invite to the patient's email address. The last thing you want to be sure of is to document this entire meeting invite into the Cerner schedule into ACES. You want to make sure you record the patient's name and the date and time of the visit. Keep in mind that Zoom and Cerner do not speak to each other, so you will have to take the extra step of documenting the scheduled meeting, scheduled patient visit into Cerner. And that is all it takes to schedule the meeting. Thank you.